Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have seen losses, user data extension, DMS so far. Today we will see the Thesans Polygon. So let's start the video. First, you have to go to the tools where you will see the Thesans Polygon option. Click on that. Then you will see the new window where two options node layer node add field click on the three dots and select all elements here element id by clicking on the check box it said include active elements only if you have inactive elements uh, it will consider all of them if you click on the checkbox it will not consider inactive element so I will untick the option and click on next then there are two options buffering percentage and polygon boundary layer if you have specific boundary uh, like ward boundary then you can import from this option it will give you the more accurate data right now i don't have what boundary so i will go with the buffering percentage there are we are considering 10 percent 10 percent as buffering percent you can increase or decrease like 20 percent it will create the buffering area around the junction I will tell you after generating the thesis polygon how does it works so again I will go with 10% then next then you have to choose the output location so I am choosing this output save and finish your Thesans Polygon has ready and went to the folder you have chosen before. Now I will show you how the output file is in shape file. So by creating background I will show you how does it looks. Go to the background, new files, choose the output file and open. It will ask you some properties unit meter transparency line color if i click on blue okay line width fill color i will click on okay and here you can see this is the thesis polygon it used to put the demand on the junction so you will see all the junctions have one boundary for this junction this boundary is created for this junction this every single junction has boundary by using RGIS you can edit this thesis polygon and create more accurate demand file and then import into the Watergems file. This is how you can create Thesans Polygon. The percentage you have chosen before it is used to create buffer area. So 10% it will create uh, the 10% buffer zone uh, around the junction. You will see it is not perfectly rectangle or circle. It is uh, somehow extended from this uh, corner you will see all the elements have some same features this is happening due to the buffering percentage if you are not if you didn't given the buffering percentage it will shown 
differently so that's it for today we will see different things in next video thank you for watching guys